Okay, um, and the next thing we need to do is actually our main game loop. Um, and here it is. Basically, uh, <coughs> it, it consists of an infinite loop uh, as long as the program is executing. Uh, as long as we can get messages from Windows, then uh, we can keep going. So we'll uh, have a message variable here, msg, and we'll populate the message with any messages that we get passed. Um, and then once we're in this uh, while loop here, we're going to uh, clear the target render buffer black. So we're going to clear the basically the, uh, the back buffer, uh, well the render buffer, the screen essentially, uh, to the color black. Uh, and we do this with um, this. Uh, uh, we want to use the graphics card, the, the graphics device pointer, and then we're going to call it clear method. You don't really need to worry about uh, much of this for now. <coughs> uh, the main kind of things that I should uh, show you is we're going to clear the target render buffer, so the one that's currently uh, we've currently got, which won't ever change because we are only using one graphics card, one render buffer, and then we're going to uh, clear this to the color black. I like to use this uh, uh, definition here, this macro provided by Direct3D which essentially uh, encodes uh, red, green and blue channels into integer numbers between 0 and 255 so we've got red, green and blue uh, we've got naught of everything which means no red, no re green, no blue uh, and we have uh, the colour black when we do that um, and then after that we want to basically send the uh, buffer to the screen to the computer monitor in the back buffer to the computer monitor. And we do that with the present method from our device. You know, we're working with a graphics card, we'll use the device. Uh, the G yeah, the G underscore PD three D device, put it into the direct three D device. And then we can pass in null for all the parameters and that because we aren't really worried about anything uh, any more flexibility than that can offer at this stage. And then mm, we take our we take our uh, message and we're just going to pass the address to these two functions which will essentially pass energy me uh, pass messages I say back to my win prop probably wrong send messages to to windows and then windows might decide to pass it to my wind procedure my WND prop function and then after after we've done all that after we've uh, After we've uh, yeah, after we've come out of the while loop, we we'll have to make sure that we release call the release method on anything to do with Direct 3D any interface. So if I pop up app.h again, uh, basically the rule is if it begins with i, you've got to release it. So I do it there, and then return one. Anyway, the final stage is to link the project. Um, link the project with the required libraries uh, for Windows, GUI programming and Direct 3D graphics programming. So if you right click on the project title and click properties uh, then you want to go to linker and input and then in additional dependencies you want to link these three files these three static libraries d3dx9d.lib, d3d9.lib and winmm.lib you need to do that so we can have access to the contents of the uh, <coughs> what the header files are representing essentially. Okay, so if we uh, run this, see what happens. And there you go. We get a black window up. Uh, a lot of code for not very much result. I understand. It'll get m get more rewarding as time goes by, and I promise you'll probably never have to look at this again. <laughs> Uh, not this uh, uh, not this file anyway okay so if for instance here when we clear d3d color xrgb to black if we were to change that say to 255 because this translates naught to 255 naught being the minimum 255 being the maximum we'll have all green no red and no blue so if we run our program then well, how we get the green screen? Um, uh, if 
we go back to app and then we might decide to change this to uh, 300 make it widescreen then we can there you go um, okay hope you'll join me in my uh, next lesson